Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got a brand new reaction to Godspeed EP, the Godspeed EP by Godlands. Recently Monster Cat has been diving into the realm of female producers, female artists, and Godlands is no exception. New EP just came out, four tracks long, a bit of bass, a bit of trap, so I understand. And uh, you know, let's just, let's kind of just hop into it. There's uh, three individual songs and one with Tasaki. Uh, I have heard Godspeed and Tell Me before, like the two singles, um, but like I cannot remember them. It would have been a fairly passive listen. So uh, this will be, for the most part, genuine first reaction. So uh, here we go. This is Godspeed. <laughs> it's a long, oh, it's not the longest, online it is. Okay, you know, I actually really like this drop. I, uh... I remembered it now when it, when it dropped, and I actually appreciate this a little bit more. Yeah, I actually really like that a lot more on second listen. Um, or I can't remember I can't remember where I did the first time, but I actually really like that. Okay, uh, yeah, the first track, Godspeed, uh, it reminds me a little bit more of the Slumberjack style to some extent. It's got a little bit of that kind of tribal hook to it or that kind of more nature-esque feel. It's hard to actually explain, um, but uh, the, yeah, I, I don't know what it is. It's, it feels a little more tribal in that sense and I, I enjoyed it. 
Uh, I like hearing these different kind of varieties of trap. I, I'm not a huge fan of just the really kind of, I, don't know, I would say boring festival trap sound. Uh, this is not, this is a lot more hybrid. This is a lot more uh, energetic, I would say, a lot more creative. It feels like it keeps going. My only gripe with the song is maybe the, uh, the, the vocal chop is a little overused, just a tad. It feels like it's, uh, it lost its luster, uh, later on into the track. I was like, okay, here we go again. The... So I don't know. Other than that though, I, uh, I actually really enjoyed the song. It's, uh, I, uh, I didn't originally like add it to my like saved library on Spotify, but I did now. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So, uh, excited for the rest of this EP. Let's get going. Uh, track number two, this is Scumbag. And what is this labeled as? This is also Trap. Okay. Maybe two bass after a video? We have bass out. So so on this track. Let's see what this third drop's like. Yeah, I, I would say I'm not a huge fan of that one. Uh, Scumbag, not the, I don't know. That one wasn't my style so much. Uh, hmm. I feel like there was a weird dissonance between the two movements of each drop uh, where you had that kind of like really pounding, like really fast, like jagged noise in the, in the first half of the drop. And then it kind of more a little atmospheric, a little more... Uh, like alarmish, it kind of sounded like, you know what I mean? Like, it, like a little more, more padded rather than a little more jittery, jittery, um, jabbing. I was just mixing all the words together. So the, the first part's like, duh, 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 and the second part's like, mm, like it's kind of, and so I get that, but I felt like it was a little too off for me. I didn't, I really, I kind of, I enjoyed the first part of it more. Maybe that's why, because I enjoyed that first section a little bit more of each drop. And then the second one came on, I was like, oh, this is kind of just a little boring. I was expecting it to kind of kick back in and out of the two uh, and really 
I don't know, mix up the style, especially in the third drop. It did a little bit with the third, but not as much as I had anticipated or hoped for. But, uh, you know, that's okay. Uh, not <laughs> every song is going to be for me. Uh, I, I like, I didn't, I didn't not like the song. I also didn't like the song. I was kind of just like, okay. <laughs> I think in like a right setting, uh, God, Godlands is um, big in the like festivals and clubs and that kind of stuff. And so I think this does go a lot harder in that setting. Uh, so me listening in my <laughs> office, technically my studio, uh, listening to this by myself isn't the right setting to I think listen to this kind of stuff. But you know what? <laughs> We're listening to two more songs of it though in the same sen- in the same area. So uh, let's move on to track number three with Tasaki. I think I'm saying that right. Um, Tosoki, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, here we go. This is Tell Me. This is labeled as Bass House. I don't quite remember. At least not yet. It's a quick song. 248. Turn the light, tell me what you say. Tell me with Tasaki. Uh, I I enjoyed that one. Um, not as much as I think Godspeed, but uh, I did like the different kind of take on Bass House. It felt a little different than the stuff I've been hearing. Maybe it's because I've been listening to a lot of Cage as of recent. But uh, yeah, I uh, I really did like that song. Uh, not yeah, not as much as Godspeed. I know I just said that, but I'm just trying to. I'm just. My mind, I'm making filler words because I'm trying to figure out what I wanted to say here. I really like the first drop a little bit more. It wasn't a ton of variety between the two, but I maybe felt like the impact of the first drop was a little more impactful <laughs> because uh, it, it wasn't, I hadn't heard it before in that sense where like the song comes on for the first time and you're like, oh, it just like hits you. It does a good job of of building into something and then kind of turning it on its head when the drop comes. It doesn't, in the in the opposite sense of scumbag, the difference between the drop and the the pre-drop is actually enough that it like catches you off in like a good way where it, it still sounds coherent and still sounds like it works well. 
uh, it just it just catches you off guard. And you're like, oh yeah, like that's what it is. And then um, I like it hitting the high register uh, on the on the second part of the drops. I'm a big fan of going higher rather than lower, and so that's just a random nitpicky thing that I enjoyed about the track. But uh, maybe I just wish it was longer. Uh, it was a little bit, a little bit short, a little bit on the short end. Would have loved to see uh, a third movement of the track. I think that end was a little strange. I felt like it was going. It felt like they were just trying to fill a little bit of time, but uh, it would work really well in a DJ set, at least uh, at the end of that. But I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. Not as much as Godspeed, though. So uh, let's head into the final track of the EP. This is All Night. And this is the longest song. And this is technically bass, labeled as bass. Final track of the EP. Uh, I was really happy with how it ended. I not just the song, but like I would say the EP as a whole. It's really wrapped everything all together. I would say it was a little bit more on the steady side. I want to say if that makes sense. The other, the first three songs are a little more out there or a little more 
Uh, you, one person may like it, one song, one person may hate another, all the kind of stuff. A little more... I don't even know the right word to put it, but th this last song felt like it was a little very consistently steady. It was just like, a, hey, this is like, we're going to end on like a, just a solid note. It's nothing too fancy. It's nothing too crazy, but we're going to end on a nice solid note and uh, bring it down at the end too, to kind of give it like a nice conclusion. I, l I really like when projects have some kind of um, fall at the end, a denouement, whatever you want to call it, whatever the term is for that in English, where it's just like, it just comes down. It's like, okay. This is it. Like we're, this is a resolution. The album is, is, or the whatever projects come to an end. Like it's, we're done. And so it did that. And so I was really happy with it. So nothing, yeah, nothing too crazy as a track individually. I think it works a lot better in the context of the EP to give the whole thing some <laughs> stability, uh, that it's not just the whole thing is not just all over the place, but I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, I said it during the song. It was a little bit more melodic than the rest of the tracks were, which I think was a nice touch as well, too. And it just uh, felt brighter and lighter and a little more, yeah, a little more and a little more nice. A little more nice of a song. It was <laughs> that's the best way to put it. This is the one that if you're gonna ch show other people that you might want to show them first if they're not really into EDM as a whole. But that's besides the point. Uh, yeah, overall EP as a whole, I enjoyed it. Uh, it wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't super up my alley. I definitely enjoyed Godspeed the most, I think, of anything, and Scumbag the least. But in between that, there wasn't a huge ton of variety in my opinions. I thought it was, like, like pretty solid. Not Didn't blow me away. Didn't not like it. Um, so... Yeah, I, I just fairly consistent. This isn't necessarily my style for the most part, but I can appreciate uh, it for what it is doing and what it's worth, I should say. But yeah, in the end, solid EP, nothing too crazy going on, and uh, it was a uh, way to go, way to go, Godspeed. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below on this EP. What was your favorite song? What was your least favorite? What do you think overall? Any and all comments there in below, whatever you want to say there. Uh, but with that, I'm Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.